is so exciting because I'm gonna hopefully create my dream dog muns. Pals, I got the coolest thing to unbox and no, it's not a pair of ducks. We have here a cricket. No, it's not just a giant cricket bug insect thing in this box. Neither is it a cricket bat, but it is the Cricut Maker 3, which is basically my personal assistant robot thing that's going to cut things for me. Oh, this box is heavy. Maybe I'll just open it here. Ah. Here we go. So this is going to be a complete beginner's tutorial. Cricut kindly sent me this as well as like this humongous box of stuff. I like can't wait to play with all of this stuff. But what actually caught my eye out of all of it was this vinyl. And look at the color, like a red glitter. And obviously my mind went directly to the Lazy Oaf Dogman collection. These dogs have been on my mind it feels like my whole life. I haven't been able to find them anywhere and I always thought, why not just make them myself? So today I'm hopefully gonna transform these bad boys, my favorite 1461 Doc Martens, into hopefully the Lazy Oaf collab for not very lazy people because you're spending time trying to create it. And hopefully I don't screw this up because uh, Doc Martens aren't cheap. Now I don't know if you guys could tell, but I don't really have like a desk or DIY space in here. So first, we gotta fuel up because I can't resist leftovers. Now it's time to actually do the project. Now because I'm slightly intimidated to just go ham on my shoes straight away, we're actually gonna start off by making something on the shirt that I just thrifted. We do have the Cricut here, which I probably should turn on. And we've got heaps of tools that I put in the side here. Tweezers, just in case you need to do your eyebrows while making a project. Just kidding. Don't use this on your eyebrows unless you do it by your own free will because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not liable. I've got the Cricut Design Space app, which you'll need to be able to cut things with the Cricut. So let's have a look on there first and see what I'd like to make with this shirt. So I was having a little look already on this app and it has like the cutest designs. I especially love this one. Yeah, it looks pretty intricate for a first timer. So I don't know if I'll do anything like that, but let's have a little look-see with other things. So it has like so many different projects on here that you can choose from. Cool hats, mugs, just like literally anything you can think of. Oh, you can even make cute stickers Oh my god, that's so cute. Make t-shirts. See what designs they have here. Oh my gosh, that one is so funny. That one would look so cool. Like I say, I don't want anything intricate, but I bet that's what I end up doing. Oh, that one's so cute too. I'm gonna save that. I kind of do have an idea that I wanna put little ants all over my shirt. So maybe I can search for ants. Now I just want like a basic normal kind of ant. Like this one's cute, but I don't want little eyeballs on it. Maybe something like this. So first I guess we should plug this bad boy in because I haven't even done that yet. Let's open this bad boy. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> New product setup. Let's try that. Start a product type to continue. Smart cutting machine? Yes. We got the Cricut Maker 3. And then we're gonna prepare the workspace. That's all the way. Isn't it so fun when you get a new thing and you gotta update it? Updating, updating. Radio. how big do we want my ants? I kinda want them like kind of small. Maybe like two centimeters? Let's go make it like two centimeters. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be hard to cut. Should I just do several on one? So I'm going to duplicate this. I don't want them too close together just in case. Let's try four of these bad boys to begin with. Now I think like if you're gonna print it on a t-shirt you do want it to be mirrored but to be honest the ants are the same on both sides so don't think I need to do that. Then do I just hit make it? without mat. Next we're gonna set the base material. They make this really easy. Well, I think so. We'll see if it works out. Now I've got smart iron on, so I'm gonna use that. Smart, iron on, final. Pressure, default. Now we gotta load the material. Is that cutting it? Oh my gosh. Shiny side down. Load the material. All right, I'm pressing it. 
it's loading. Now it says I just have to press this button here. Oh, here she goes, she's cutting it. So let's unload it. How do I, maybe this one? Aha, it's very intricate. So you probably can't see it at all, but it's basically cut out everything into this. So now I'm gonna just kind of, I think it's called weed. So you weed out the background and then the ants should still be on the paper. So all those gurus who have YouTube channels are probably like, uh, Jen, you're like doing this completely wrong. Now we have our four ants. Now we get to iron it on and I got this mighty, but no, many, but mighty <laughs> iron from Cricut as well. And oh my gosh, look how small and cute it is. So this I can use to iron it onto the shirt. There we go. Now that's plugged in, I gotta also make sure that we're doing it at the right settings. Here, I guess we pick the Easy Press Mini and we're using the Smart Materials Iron On Base Material. Oh, here it is, 100% cotton. Easy peasy, 100% cotton, apply. All right, so that just says the temperature settings. So we got five seconds preheat, medium 25 seconds, constant movement, light pressure, flip and press for 15 seconds and then slowly remove liner when cool touch. I think we can do this. Let's set this bad boy for medium. It does say to tape these down onto the shirt. Oh, that's already ready. The ants are kind of missing a couple of their legs, but I think that adds to the character of them. I think I'll have text in the middle of the shirt. There should work. 25 seconds. Let's set a timer. 25 seconds. Move this around for 25 seconds. Oh, I set 25 minutes. Yikes, this has already come off by itself. So we got our little anti poo and then it says we can switch it over. Actually, they gave me something for this. So I was kindly given the easy press mat as well. So I should have probably been using this. Turn it over. Eight, seven, six, five. So we've got one ant and I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones on. Now I just want to quickly make some text and I'll turn this off so I don't burn the house down. So I'm going to assume I just press text here. I want it to say antics. Get it? Let's try find a cool font. Something like that could look cool. But let's scroll through. Let's go with my vibe. I think I liked this one up here. Let's go back. This one. Oh, that's cute. How small do we want it? I'm going to say three centimeters for this antics. I think it should have a full stop at the end. Is that even how you spell antics? Let's Google it. Foolish, outrageous, or amusing behavior. And I'm gonna say make it, I have to mirror it. Edit, mirror. That could have been bad. Okay, we're gonna load this bad boy. Oh my God, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed off the excess stuff. Probably don't want it like on my boobs. Probably like somewhere here. One, two, three. Do the iron on the other side. We gotta complete the job. Now that I know I can customize my clothes, everything is going to get a makeover. So now I have a shirt that says antics. I'm gonna try for the shoes. So we got the shoe here, but let's first determine like what we need for this whole job. So this is the shoes, the Doc Martens, Lazio 1461s, out of stock as you can see. Also they cost $238, we're gonna make them. They have hearts on them, as you can see they're like velvet hearts, or well, maybe you can see, can you see that? For size wise, I'm not really sure how big these hearts are, but we're gonna make some little mini hearts. And then on the back, it actually says don't care. So that will be the hard part, I think. Trying to make the font fit. So I think we first need to figure out heart. So let's type in heart. I actually saw a project that could have worked for this one. Uh, these shoes. So basically they use the same glitter that I'm about to use. Yeah, we could basically just use the same template, except I'll make it a lot smaller. Let's customize. Hard to say without looking at it, but I'm gonna try and measure how big the hearts could be. Probably around like a centimeter. And we're gonna move this heart and make it tiny. Now I'm gonna duplicate this 14, 28, 28 on the sides and plus 16, 44 hearts. 
duplicate. Hopefully they're the right size because we're gonna print these bad boys. Glitter baby. I hope it works out. Now I'm gonna say make it. Oh, it's smart iron on glitter for this one. So we're gonna have to go to this one. So we wanna make sure <laughs> shiny side down. I think it means that bit. I hope I'm gonna cut this the right way. Now again, we can press the button and hopefully it doesn't screw up. It actually seems pretty dang quick. <laughs> now one thing to make sure is with your shoes, you wanna make sure they're clean. So I cleaned these before I made this. So yeah, hopefully this works out. It's already done. That only took like less than a minute. Unload. They look pristine. I'm gonna take the laces out first. way easier. Now let's work out the heat settings. Well, they don't really have leather, so let's go faux leather. It says low 30 seconds. So here we have the shoe and I'm going to put the sticky side down of the heart onto the shoe. I really don't know if regular tape is going to screw this up. I'm going to secure it like this. Because the shoe is not flat, it's not the easiest thing to do. And then when it's cool to touch, we can take it off. Okay, <laughs> that did not work. Let's try that again at a warmer heat because I don't think it transferred properly. Oh, I think we've done it, pals. We have got one shiny heart. So now I know I can successfully do one, let's do the rest. So just in case you're new to the Cricut like I am, this machine lets you cut more than 300 materials. So like paper, fabric, leather, balsa wood, pretty much anything with incredible precision. And as you can see, it's super easy to learn software. I basically picked it up straight away, so I'm sure you guys could pick it up as well. And you have the flexibility of uploading your own designs. So you don't just have to go with the ones that are already in there. You can create anything you want to create. And if you were thinking about getting a Cricut, I have the links below or else in Australia, they're selling them at Harvey Norman and Spotlight and in New Zealand, they're selling them in Spotlight and the Warehouse Stationery. Okay, so I've done a bunch of the hearts, but I'm going to continue doing it in my own time because it's just going to take too long for a video. But we do have to print out the wording on the back. So let's try to do that. So let's try to find a good picture of the back. Don't, come on, don't care. Okay, so we've got to fit like four words on each. I'm gonna rule the back of the shoe here so I can get the right size. So we have about six centimeters and I probably want it to go in the middle. So I probably like five. And then the smallest point on here is 1.3 or 1.4 centimeters. So five by 1.4. Don't care. It's like pretty bold and basic. So basically I spent a little bit of time trying to get the writing correct and making sure the spacing was right. So I'd suggest just playing around till it feels right. And I'm gonna stick this down on the mat this time so it actually works. And this is the board. Now all I have to do is take off this plastic and it should stick to it. With the shiny side down, we got the standard grip mat. On the computer, I'm gonna say on mat. Mat size, what is the mat size? So on here, it's got like some measurements on the top. So I'm going to make sure on here, it's in that spot. And we press the button again. I'm gonna put my iron on again, just like how I had it before. We're gonna go one more thing, and then once this is on, I'll keep doing the hearts in my own time and show you what they look like. So pro tip, turns out that the white vinyl goes on a lot better than the glitter one, but we've got the care on there. Without a care in the world, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this shoe 
slash the other shoe and get back to you with the final product. Alrighty pals, I have finished all the DIYs except for cropping this top. So I'll just quickly do that and then I'll show you the whole outfit. Yes, we have cropped it. This shirt would look awesome with these brand new thrifted pants that are the perfect pants. And I can't wait to show you because like I just want to wear them all the time. So oh yeah, full outfit initiated with Martin. This is the full custom look and honestly, Making stuff with the Cricut was super, super easy. I'm actually going to England soon and this would be like the perfect outfit. <laughs> so yeah, let's look at everything up close. Do you want to look at it up close, Martin? Okay. He doesn't want to look at them. So I have the shoes here. They are super duper cute. I can't believe it. They turned out so good, especially at the back. We got the don't care at the back, just like they do on Lazy Oaf. They're just so adorable. Give me a thumbs up if you think that I did pull this off. The glitter is just showing up in the light. So cool. Like if you wore this to a concert or something, I'm sure they would stand out so well. So the main thing I learned while doing these bad boys and just in case you're doing it as well, the hearts tended to like stick half the time. So you had to be very heavy handed with the iron. It took like about 30 seconds, just like really holding it down. And when I was sticking them on, I ended up just sticking all of them on at the same time and then heating them all around the same time. So I wouldn't accidentally like ruin it if I was heating one at a time. Also be super, super careful with the iron, obviously, and do not get it close to the sole because the sole is rubber and it will melt. And I may or may not have melted it just a little bit on the side here. Um, but yeah, it's not very noticeable. You'll notice a tiny bit of sticky residue on the shoe, but that's just because I need to clean it off. But other than that, looking pretty good. Also, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, about three or four of these hearts have already fallen off just sitting in my room. And all I have to do is reheat them and put them back on. But if you want a more permanent solution, you can add something to seal the shoes and keep them looking great. Or you can go for a more of a permanent vinyl. This is just an iron-on vinyl and that will definitely stick for a lot longer. But also it's good to know, just in case you screw up, you can kind of peel these things off if you've done the wrong thing. I do have to lace these, but I just wanted to show you like the whole effect. We got like a little heart here and oh, they look so good. Don't care. Well, I do care. They, oh. if you're hoping to have some sort of Doc Martens and you can't find them, just DIY them. Um, I have a lot of DIYs ideas for like all of these so let me know if you have anything you want me to create and then for the top i love it it looks like something from the brand offends or something but i basically just bought this top for like two dollars from a thrift store added some ants and whenever i have like a little bit of extra vinyl left over i'm just gonna make some more ants and like slowly cover the top so it's gonna slowly evolve as life goes on but uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of my DIY. Complete beginner's cricket tutorial because I didn't know what I was doing, but it turns out it's actually pretty easy to use considering I never used it. So yeah, anyways, my name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, keep wondering.